Three, two, one. Open your mouth. Holden trusts me more than you do, Skyla. Come on. Oh, I smell Let's... it! Holden's I gonna smell guess it. it first. Okay, Holden's gonna guess it first then. Do you wanna try it? Mom! Mom! Okay. Something you love. I promise. Trust me. <laughs> chocolate! 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 That tastes like milk chocolate. If it was a candy bar, what kind of candy bar would it be? Hershey's. Okay, so the second question is, where are we going today? Hershey Park. <laughs> yeah. What? Do you want to go? in the car and go to Hershey Park with your friends. What? Hi, I'm Kristen. Hey, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Skyla. And I'm Holden. And we are... The, the Dean, Dean team. team. We are headed out on a road trip to... Hershey Park! We can't wait. We're staying at the Hershey Park Camping Resort. We've got two days at the park and we are going to do Chocolate World and a bunch of other things. So what do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's, Let's go! go. We're staying at a really cute RV in Lewisbury, Pennsylvania, about 30 minutes away from Hershey, and we're heading there in the morning. Good night's sleep. Airbnb for the win again. We have made it to Hershey, and all of the lights are Hershey kisses. This is so cool. What a cute town. Inside registration, they show you some of the history. So this was the Wildcat, circa 1930 to 40. Chocolate Avenue in 1920. They have really nice laundry facilities. And it looks like they're at the bathhouses as well as this one's at the registration. They have a playground area by the pool. You can hear the train going by. There's a fire pit. A uh, beach volleyball court, basketball court. A lot of the programming that they do is over here at the recreation center. Turn this handle. Turn. Take the black handle, pull it back to you. Let go of that, take the silver bar, push it down, hold it there. Let go of that. Pull this for me twice. Hop up on the wheel. Get it, girlfriend. Two bars together and go up the hill, feet in front of you. There Run. You go. There you go. Enjoy. How many kids have flown off this time? Nobody. <laughs> Pull it back. Root beer, blue raspberry, cherry, cotton candy, or egg custard. Cherry. Turn this one here. Hold it down. Flip Whoa. it back up. Turn it to the end. Go up the hill.
each site comes with your different electricities. This one was actually the breakers were flipped, so make sure if your electricity is not working that those are on. There's a water hookup, and it looks like there's some sort of cable as well at each site. And they even come with cobwebs. Woo! This gives you an idea of some of the camping activities that are available. The dinosaur scavenger hunt sounds really cool. They also do movies under the stars. Quiet hours are from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. It does say the shuttle runs from 9 a.m. to one hour past park closing, but it stops running at 9.45. It runs approximately every 30 to 40 minutes. Everyone has to wear this wristband the whole time. If you and wanna get on the shuttle. You wear it so that they know you can get in early because you're a resort member and so they can get on the shuttle. Skyla, who is here with us? My dad's Harper and Zariah. And Zariah. And you. And you. Everyone just realized <laughs> that they're camping together. They have no idea. They had no idea. So we're here with two families. This is the first time we've done a trip with friends. And so it's my two best friends and the kids' best friends, and we are so excited to experience this all together. How's the pool, y'all? Great. great! A little bit busy. But it's great. There's also a kiddie pool over there. That's like ankle-deep. How is the kiddie pool? It's really warm, like feel it. It's super warm. Oh, so it's much warmer in here than the main pool? Yeah! Three, two, one! Oh my god! You're like a little crab. I am about to jump into the deep end, which is six feet. So, it won't be at first because I've jumped into eight feet, nine feet, but that's cannibal. Three, two, one. We got the box. This is where you register and it's also where the pools are. And then that's the shuttle stop loop right there. And our campsite is the one that's circled. And so we would walk that path over to the shuttle stop, which wasn't bad at all. And then you can see the cabins are up here and they could kind of just walk straight down to the shuttle stop as well. But there's a lot of different places to stay. And then we think that these ones along Lazy River Rest would be great because you have access down to the creek. There's little paths that lead down there. I also want to point out that there is an operational 24-7 freight train line and you can hear the trains. It's not loud. I mean, it's kind of pleasant to hear them, but you can definitely hear it throughout the campground. Scott's got the breakfast we're gonna, we're gonna going. I'm trying. This is the best part of it right here. Egg and bacon Sammy's for breakfast. How did everyone sleep last night? Amazing! Yes. But all the bugs were in the tent. Good. You had some bugs in your tent? <laughs> yes. So this was Harper and Jude's no first time tent. camping. I'm pretty sure I, I got poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> Holden's out here catching bugs off of Jude's oh light, which is so cute. Got it, Mom. <laughs> you got one? And it just flew away. <laughs> <laughs> the smoke from the fire is a good deterrent for the bugs. Oh my God, that is cool? a gorgeous shot right there. Yeah. Whoa. That's like picture perfect mallow. Because you cannot be in Hershey without making some s'mores with Hershey. Product placement. I mean, perfection. Morning fire is the way to do it. It's Monday morning. Are you all ready for some fun? Yes. Melissa Ann said all the kids look like they got punched in the face by fun. 
I think she's right. It's fun. Harper found some really cool shells by the water. Good finds. Did you like it down there? Yeah. Yeah, they're at a lot of the campsites up here. There's just little paths down. So these are the ones to be at. I love you, my best friend. Y'all ready to load up? Yeah. Let's load up. We're the first ones on the bus Are you guys going to the back too? Oh, the kids are headed to the back. Oh, it's so cold in here. Best ride of the day, as Scott would say. Yep. The shuttles have run really consistently. We've never had to wait, hardly at all. The shuttles start running around 9 o'clock, and they keep going until 9.45, and the park closes at 9. So we've kind of been hitting them right at the end of the day every day. Very close to 9.45. Like the, I think we take took the last one, but they yeah. said they're very strict on that's the cutoff. Yeah, and it's only about a five-minute five. yeah. ride Not over to the park. All. And the drivers have been awesome. They're yeah, all really, really good information. They go over the loudspeaker and tell you the history. The buses have been clean, cold, nice. Very cold. Best part of it. The bus lets off literally right at a crossroads that takes you either to the park or over to Chocolate World. Closing it down. My favorite part was the drop. Look at these kids still kicking. Woo! Y'all are rock stars. <laughs> hey, bud. Skyla, how was it sleeping in the tent? <laughs> Having the fan is critical, I feel like. One of the things I love about our tent is that it has so many screens. So you literally just feel like you are directly outside, not even in a tent. Trees everywhere. There's a thing on the tent that looked like a bug. Yeah. Was it a bug? I think. Go get it. I can't see it anymore. Oh, is that it? They did have a raging party last night. Guess what was out? Eating all the garbage. Last morning fire. Time with friends. Last night. So, Harper and Zariah, this was your first time staying in tents. Yeah. And you said you would do it again. Yeah. Just without the park part. What's that? Just without, like, the roller coaster. So you would want to come and do just a camping trip. Should we make that happen? Yes. Maybe. Does Legoland have Legoland has an amazing hotel. Oh. Oh, my God. Still. Cool. Get that it's hard to get back. So what happened? So how did you hear it? We hear it. Like the, yeah, the they trash woke was us hanging. Up. Yeah. They were getting into the trash. They were getting into yeah. the trash. And so I looked and I saw one and I heard one on the other side of the grass and it darted under my car and I, I said, oh my God, that looks like a cat. And then it walked, the mama with two little babies walked clear across my tent. And they were massive. Like the mama was huge. They are large. But they are exactly what they look like. White and black. Beautiful. Yeah. Just, yeah. So they um, were respectful. Yes. Yeah. They didn't get on the table. They didn't no. eat our chips or our, yeah. our, our yeah, they didn't drag them down. We left the stuff out. And Ricky can't be mistake. But they licked your cups clean. So yes. this is what they did do. We had these sitting out on the grass. Full of peanut butter. Full of the peanut butter from our milkshakes and they licked them clean. But they left the cups, which yes. was very polite. Yes. 
something I meant to show yesterday is that re-entry into the park is really easy. They just give you a stamp and then you just show that and you go back in through the exit. But I also did not realize that when you sleep with that and you sleep like this, then it, you get a double stamp. So I just have an extra bonus. Okay, it'll, should start blinking before it takes. Maybe oh, not. okay. It'll start blinking? Yeah, I no. think so. Oh, oh no, it won't. Just smile. Oh. No, I have to hit record, not shoot. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a, a good, good one. Yeah. Smile. I know. Now that the sights have cleared out, you can see how close we are to the restroom. So it's been a really easy walk. And then along that path is how you get up to the pool and the shuttle, and it's not far at all. Something that we thought is really neat is that they come by and do trash pickups. You just leave your bags out, and then they come by with a golf cart and grab them. I want to preface this with we are here in July and there is a heat wave, but the restrooms are like a sauna no airflow, very, very hot, and very buggy. Like where when you turn on the shower, bugs just like fly around. And we've stayed at a lot of campsites. We're totally cool with, you know, camp showers and that kind of thing, but this was, I don't know, I don't know what we expected, but with it being called Camping Resort, we maybe thought it was gonna be a little bit of a higher level restroom, but it did the trick, we got clean, that's all that matters in the end, but just be aware, very hot and very buggy. There are a few campsites that are directly next to the playground. It looks like 77B, 78, 79, 80, uh, and of course on the other side, so this might be a nice spot to have some entertainment. This is called Carousel Circle. I think this is a lot more of the bigger RVs. This one has a very nice view. They had the right idea. It's gorgeous. Are you making a camping scene? Yeah. No, no. It'll be a good reminder of our trip. get a Reese's lanyard? Yeah, for the park, for the cheapo price of $10. Not bad. That's not too bad. We always get ornaments, and this is a great option. Look at these. Yeah, I love that. I also like this one that says Happy Camper. I think we should do the tent. I mean, we don't have a camper, so yeah, we gotta get the tent one. <laughs> you like this one, or the fire? I think I like this one more. Oh, that's fun too, though. This is a cute mug for 13. There's a little bit of Hershey in all of us. They have a lot of camping resort specific merch, which is very cool. I like that tie dye. These are nice too with the logo. If you forgot your morning coffee, they got you covered. They have magnets and stickers. That's great. I love that they have branded s'mores wet wipes. No s'more mess. We had an awesome time at Hershey Camping Resort. We didn't get to spend a ton of time here because we had the full park days and the day we got here, it was game on to get to that preview. But we did get to check out some of the programming here, got to take a dip in the pool, 
got to have really good bonfires and had a really nice camping experience. All of us said, we wish we would have had a full yeah one more day just to do the stuff around the site but of course the hours didn't just fit within the schedule that we had so one more day would have been really really nice but there's plenty to do here it's interesting that tents and rvs are together normally every time we've camped before those are separated one of the very nice perks of staying at the hershey hotel the lodge or the camping resort is that you get in an hour early every day and you get an extra hour of the preview so that was awesome the shuttles were great the drivers were so kind so that was also a very big benefit to not have to park yeah. and do that whole situation. That looked like a mess. We will have different videos about our experiences at Hershey Park, at Chocolate World, at the Hershey Story Museum. So make sure to check those out and we'll see you soon. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, keep adventuring.